So I made an update video and showed off the animations for the UNU Concord, but in case people aren't curious about my 2.0 update, I did just want a chance to show off these pretty cool animations. Um, so to show, to check the animations on the back, I added a spare pilot seat, and this will make the plane much easier to fly um, until we get a larger camera angle. And so, first off, of course, is the rudder. That's pretty simple. Nothing, nothing too shocking there. Uh, these ailerons on the side were interesting to animate because they are angled down and angled back slightly. So we need to do some trigonometry vector work there, but not too bad. Uh, so you'd see the ailerons roll opposite each other, the, operate opposite of each other when you are rolling, and then when you pitch, they operate together. <clears throat> the animation is kind of slow. And then, if you, of course, if you want to pitch and roll, uh, they do work together pretty well. And then, so those are the, uh, the back parts, and there's also the flaps. So I guess I could show off the flaps. Not nothing too shocking there. There's they're not even an angle, but the flaps do rotate down and back up. So they go down pretty far, but the animation is really slow. And I want to show you the exciting part, which is in the nose of the plane and in the cockpit. And unfortunately, the landing gear does not animate, nor do the landing gear doors. So first off, of course, is the brake. I'll go ahead and set the parking brake. And you can also see the door. The door does stick out too far from the body right now. So I got the forward movement almost right. I think I just swapped a couple things there. So that's a little off, but not too bad. I could fix that pretty easily. Um, and then inside the cockpit, of course, you have the wheels that turn, and both seats are, pi te are controllers, so either seat could fly the plane. And so that's pretty neat. And then when you control the yaw, the pedals rotate, which is pretty cool. And then you can also pitch the steering wheels forward and back. And it's a little hard to see, but I'll go ahead and pull up the model. And there is actually a telescoping action. So this one moves less than this box. And they actually uh, can, you know, kind of expand as you would expect them to. And so yeah, you have the, uh, the yaw and the roll and the pitch. So it all works together really well. And then, of course, the piece de resistance is the droop snoop. And so when you get out, you can actually see the animation works really well. So the nose drops, and then the windscreen also drops, kind of hinging right here. Now, if you're familiar, now I'll go ahead and let me go down all the way. If you're familiar with MTS, you can't just hinge a piece on a rotating piece. So I actually had to do this windscreen, it took some math, and the rotation point is like out here somewhere. But it actually animates really well, and it looks really neat when you're inside the plane as well. Seeing the uh, windscreen come up like that, and the nose folding back. So, I'm quite proud of this animation, it looks really good. So let's go ahead and play it once more so everyone can see it in its glory. There it is rotating down. And so that's in the maximum downward position which is a 12.5 degree angle which it uh, mimics the actual Concorde. And then the windscreen folds flat and out of the way and the actual Concorde didn't have these little spiky things on it, but <clears throat> I couldn't figure out a good way to sort of get rid of those, so I just um, made it fold down as well, because when uh, like in a spiky fashion. Because if I tried to make it part of the windscreen, it didn't, it just didn't work right. So I think this is just fine for an UNU product. Uh, it's not the most refined design, but it gets the job done, and that's all you really neat from UNU. And so it's really neat when it folds back. 
And then it just sort of like all clicks into place. Shwunk. Seamless. So that was a really neat animation with the uh, droop snoot being tied to the flaps. I'm quite proud of it. And I think it's one of the distinctive features of the whole plane. I'm, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I'm excited to get this thing in the air. I haven't flown it yet because there's still some config stuff and JSON stuff I'm working on. But I quite like this plane. I'm excited to have players try it out. So one final folding up.